Today we were discussing um, how Clyde View School and Nursery had engaged with the Learning and Nature Project and we visited Barons Hall. Um, we had um, the opportunity to um, participate um, with our local nature reserve, which was a, a resource that we hadn't really utilised before. And so we were, here, we were here to talk about what had happened prior to the visit, during the visit and after the visit and how that development had really assisted the staff, it had assisted the school, it had assisted the children, it, you know, the, all the, the kind of overarching benefits. And really just as well to, to look at to get to give other people a bit of an insight into how the ESN perspective may be slightly different from the mainstream perspective. For me, the whole question around curriculum making outdoors has been a, a kind of key aspect of the Teaching in Nature project. And it's made us think differently about what it means to decide how to teach and learn. So if you go outdoors, there's a demand through the changes in weather, the changes in, in environment, pupils responding to a place and they might say let's go across the burn or let's go here and so the curriculum and the challenges that cr that are created for teaching and learning uh, emerge through taking part in an environment so responding to a place seems to be a key idea in curriculum generation outdoors. The activity group was just really uh, describing how what the process for, of the Teaching in Nature project was about. People that came along to the group really were very engaged um, and seemed very, very interested. You know, um, I think it, with, within the sector of additional support needs, it's, it's not something that is, is as prevalent as, as the children in mainstream and especially nursery education. They're very long, very far down the line of outdoor learning. However, additional support needs we're just we're still trying to unwrap that cotton wool as we all the cliche we always kind of talk about um, and we're still you know trying to make sure that we're giving the children these experiences so we gave them some idea of of what the skills are and um, of, of our children and they were very receptive to that i think it you know it was it, it was encouraging that the additional support needs sector are going to take on this outdoor le learning so no we get very positive feedback we need to expand all of this provision. We have a lot of pockets of good practice, so maybe the, the online environment can help us do things in new ways, uh, but also taking what's good in small pockets and trying to expand those out in different areas so it's not just small scale stuff that we can, we can hit more teachers and, and hit more learners that way.